Hello, everybody. Today, we're looking at Ao Kuang and his fighting style mid in a conquest match. Yay, actual conquest match and learning something important. Now, I'm not sure about my team composition. They're not sure what kind of mode they joined. Awesome, awesome. I'm loving the confidence. But so far, and finally, we have no tank. They've practically got two. Jesus, okay. So, we are all damage, no defense. All we have is a bit of healing, support, and lots of crowd control. That's one thing we have going for us. But they have Loki, so we're fucked. We're fucked. And this is before the recent assault patch, so uh, uh, Loki's Loki Loki will fuck us. But that's not the point. The point is to demonstrate our Kuang's abilities. I don't know what the lanes are going to be, though. Looks like it should be... Let's see... Freya and Cupid with Artemis and Aphrodite. That would be my guess. Freya will have slow set up kills for Cupid to add damage to each other. That's fine. Aphrodite can speed up Artemis, who can use a stun with her ultimate. And with Aphrodite's invincibility, could get off a lot of damage without getting hurt. So, the, that should be the lanes, and that should work pretty well if they are careful enough. The problem is if they fight tanks, they can be picked off very easily by people who can tank them very easily in the beginning when they have no power. So, Ao Kong's abilities. I get a cannon shot, just straight ahead skill shot. I have a movement speed buff, uh, temporarily. And then I have a tornado, which does damage over a lot of damage over time. And then an ultimate, which is a gigantic dragon that comes down and d does a ton of damage in a straight line. All right, looks like it's going to be Cupid and... Or, wait, no. Freya? Freya, what are you doing? Um... That's a good answer. You obviously went to college. Alright, we're off to a good start. The team is very happy with each other. The communication is perfect. Cupid, why are you standing there? 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 You you move around, Cupid. You you move around to not take as much damage. No. No, you're an idiot. You're an AD carry trying to tank. Oh boy. Ah. Holy shit, he's right level two. Fuck him. Two could play at that game. In one second. Just give me one second. There we go. Two could play at that game. Haha, -ha, take that. Oh shit. So this is gonna be a far oh, this is gonna be a really fun lane. Uh, Al Kong is very good at farming and being able to farm from a distance. Oh, what a bitch. Not very good at not telegraphing his moves, though. So, 
Aquang is very good at farming and at a distance, so he can farm safely under his tower. What this means is he's he's good when they try to counter mid picks. I get like 80 carries that would be detrimental to most mages. Um, or assassins mid like Loki. Alcorn doesn't really have to worry about that. He can farm from a distance and stay really far away from any kind of danger. Uh, but this guy is being an idiot, so I'm just gonna let him have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him all the damage I can while farming around him. I'm gonna let the minions do the talking in the beginning. Oh, what the fuck! All right, game. So what I'm gonna make it do is I'm, I'm gonna make the damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the minions do damage as much as possible since he's charging me so up front. If I can clear my minions faster than he can, the minions will attack him while they're going while he's going back to his tower, and then he's gonna waste his mana apparently healing himself. <laughs> Fine with me. I got mana for days, man. I got MP5 items. Very important when you're going mid is to have MP5 items or to have potions to refill your mana. So that you can at least stay to level six or seven. Me, I'm not having no problem. I don't have to use any of my extra abilities. I'm just farming and watching him waste all of his time. I already have given up first blood, so we'll see how this goes. Like I said, this is pre-Loki nerf, so people are are excited about that. Okay, now that he's below half health, decently, I am ready to use my ultimate. See if I can kill him. at me bro you got nothing got nothing okay he's just standing in his tower balls come on charge me you've got enough mana to charge me you've got your ultimate don't be scared don't be scared I got nothing I got I don't have anything see see you can hit me charge me Charge me! Yeah, you want to. Alright. I just gotta make sure I don't fuck this up. And, oh, I fucked it up. Does it matter? Does it matter? No? No? And boom! <laughs> oh man, I got mana for days. I got way too much mana. I get. <laughs> Crazy. Didn't even see it coming. Guys, guys, you see that? See that? We're winning mid. So just play defensively and I will carry. I can do that kind of thing. An ally has no. Been slain. no, they're mad at each other. This is also going to be a video on the Smite community. Is it better than League? No, no, it's not better than League. The only community part of Smite that's better than League is the streaming part. Uh, they're much more professional about streaming and supporting their game because it's new and that's what they were hired to do. But, uh, and really that's what League, ne that's what League needs is people, uh, people are promoting League in a positive light and teaching people to not be assholes. I mean, not that I don't enjoy a good uh, Odd One stream or Dyrus stream, or especially Voiboy. I think Voiboy is the shining example of how League should be doing it. But they're not regulated and they're not 
they're really not trying to do anything for the game except earn money. And I think that if more people were like the people who stream for Smite and promote Smite, uh, Your left tower is under there would be less, uh, there would be less general opinions of League that would be uh, just downright trashiness. It's not. It's not that people won't be mad at each other, but it won't be. It won't be appropriate to be mad at each other. The problem. Uh, we watch streaming in league. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, God! Fucking stun! I did not see that coming. Run! Ha ha! I still win. When you watch those streams and you watch them get mad, you watch them insult other players. That becomes normal for you. You you quote them. You make jokes like they do. And even though you don't really look up to them or anything like that, you still imitate them because they're professionals. Which is dumb. I would rather imitate uh, Dry Bear or Lassus. I'd rather be an alcoholic than be a dick like Dyrus. Luckily, that's true. Um, so, other than that, I really, I think that's the only thing Smite really has going for it, um, compared to LoL. I mean, obviously the games are very different, but the community is going off into a better position right now. So, we'll see how much it actually translates to the game when it, when it actually launches and more streams pop up. But if these guys are the main guys that are showing everyone the game and showing everyone how to play with each other... Hey! That's, that's a great start. And I really hope to get in on that soon. Once I'm able to stream. But, back to business. This guy is still clueless. He does not realize I have mana. Much more mana. Although, he, like, his his clearing abilities are on par with mine now. So I do have to use extra abilities now. Which is is starting to drain my mana. I need, I need more mana. Five. Mana per five items. Which should be my next one. But I have penetration, so... Damn it. I missed that. Balls. Aha. The problem with duo farming lanes is that they're in lane for so long, it's very difficult for you to have time to grab jungle buffs. You can't push your lane forward and then like have time to get your jungle buffs while they're finishing farming their side of the lane. Yeah, I just want to go back. Ah, team confidence. So good. Your left tower has been destroyed. Your right tower is under attack. But so without Kwong, he's got a really good kit. He's got movement speed, great clearing capabilities, and a gigantic devastating ultimate if you land it. So I should be ganking. I really should be getting into the jungle and farming extra to get ahead even more in my mid lane. But with Ra's farming capabilities, he's really just sticking all the minions on me. And I, I don't have enough time to do anything else and help out my team, which sucks. Which is why you need a defensive position. Um, when you have a def um, when you have a tanky person in the lane, it allows for uh, movements in the team lanes, so that the defender can stay, the uh, carry on that side can come towards mid, help out mid, while mid switches to another lane to help gank that or work on jungle that 
that tankiness and able to 2v1 is really important and you don't necessarily need a tank for it but we don't have any character we don't have any characters that can do that right now or they're not capable of it so that's really getting in our way right now and haha -ha! suck it bitch And so our lack of mobility is really getting in the way of our chance to come back from this. And obviously our inability to cooperate with each other at this point. But other than that, we really shouldn't be in this bad of a situation. This is all, this is all up to us. We just refuse to want to try to do better. And because of that, it's just not going to go in our favor. Which is weird because we were actually quite mobile with Aphrodite. Come on. I'm tasty. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you didn't think I had enough mana. They never think I have enough mana. I got a huge mana pool for a dragon. I'm a dragon. OP as fuck. An ally. But this still gives you a good impression about Kwong because it shows you how to farm with him. Um, and I can decently explain where our team went wrong and what Al Kwong could be doing in better situations. But man, our team is just, they're, they're, they're done. They're, they are satisfied with how this game turned out. They're, people just give up too easily in this game. As a skill shot game, comebacks are easily possible. You just, you just have to try. And people think it's League, where it's a lot more number crunching than other games. And sometimes comebacks are impossible. But. Boop. Oh, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Run. Run. Run phase. Run phase. Oh, the hate Loki. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Nerfed to the ground. We just, we just don't want to win. And that's a huge part of the game. Wanting to win will help you win a lot. <laughs> oh, team. And there's a surrender without my consent. Thanks guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it.